Hi, my dear students. Welcome back to chemistry class. During our last class, we have seen acids, bases, and neutral solutions. And we also studied how to identify acid, base, and neutral substance by the help of indicators. We have seen some natural indicators like litmus, chanarof, turmeric, etc. And we used these indicators to identify acids, bases, and neutral solutions. We have done a lot of activities. And today, let us see some more indicators. That is, Synthetic indicators. One is phenolphthalein. It is colorless. But when a drop of phenolphthalein is added to a base, a pink color comes. Thus we can identify the base using a drop of phenolphthalein. But phenolphthalein has no color in acid. In base, it has pink color. But in acid, it is colorless. Now another is methyl orange. In base, its color is yellow. And in acid, its color is red. So from the color change, we can identify base and acid. These two indicators are synthetic indicators, artificially prepared indicators not natural. Now today, let us learn another important reaction of acid and base. When an acid is mixed with a base, or when a base is mixed with an acid, they react together. An acid and base react together, forming salt and water. And this reaction is known as neutralization reaction. Reaction between an acid and a base forming salt and water. Here, the properties of both acids and bases are cancelled each other. And new properties are formed. Here, acid plus base forms salt plus water. For example, when we add Hydrochloric acid to a solution of sodium hydroxide. Both react together, neutralize each other, forming sodium chloride, salt and water. This reaction is known as neutralization reaction. Acid plus base forms salt and water. Now let us see some examples of neutralization reaction from our daily life. These are the applications of neutralization reaction in our daily life. We already know that our stomach contains dilute hydrochloric acid, which help the digestion of food. Sometimes, because of excess, formation of excess acid in our stomach, we feel gas problems indigestion, stomach ache, and many of we have suffered from this. And this is because of excess acid in our stomach. So in order to neutralize that excess acid, we use some mild bases like magnesium hydroxide, aluminum hydroxide, or baking soda, means sodium, hydrogen, carbonate. Any one of these mild bases can be used in order to treat this indigestion. And these mild bases are known as antacids. They are available in market in the form of tablets and syrup. This is an application of neutralizer reaction in our daily life. To treat the gas problem or indigestion, stomach ache, we use 
mild basis remember the names of that basis one is magnesium hydroxide it is also known as milk of magnesia and second is aluminium hydroxide it is also known as milk of alumina the third one is sodium hydrogen carbonate it is called baking soda and it is available in the market in the name eno you you are familiar with it i think so these mild bases weak bases are given in order to treat acidity in the stomach now when ant by or mosquito by they inject acid into our body that is formic acid and contains formic acid do you remember that acid is injected to our body so our skin become red in color and we feel irritation and pain that is because of the presence of that acid now what we can do take some base and apply it on that spot suddenly the pain will be okay and that is because of acid we feel pain because of acid the time of ant bite and mosquito bite especially in small children in kids you know their skin is very soft and because of ant bite and mosquito bite red color coming on their skin then we go to doctor and he give a medicine what is that medicine that medicine is calamin solution a rose solution when we apply that calamin solution it is a base it neutralizes the acid due to ant bite or mosquito bite and the red color disappear so here the acid due to ant bite or mosquito bite is neutralized by calamin solution which is zinc carbonate which is a mild base we know that soil is a very important natural resource and we depend on soil for our food needs and for many other needs you know and here plants grow well in neutral soil soil should be neutral best yield will be produced from neutral soil if soil is acidic or basic it will affect the yield and plant growth so after testing the soil if the soil is acidic farmers add lime slaked lime or cook lime in the soil in order to neutralize the excess acid present in the soil how soil becomes acidic soil becomes acidic because of the continuous use of chemical fertilizer and because of acid rain you know due to air pollution nowadays acid rain is very common and because of the overuse of chemical fertilizers and acid rain the soil become acidic so in order to neutralize the excess acid present in the soil farmers add lime slaked lime or cooked lime and if the soil is basic farmers are advised to use magnesium sulfate which is acidic salt and which will react with the excess base in the soil or by using organic things like manure compost or cow dung we can remove the excess base from the soil so neutral soil is best for cultivation most of the factories and industries use different types of acids for example chemical factories fertilizer factories leather factories etc use plenty of strong acids like hydrochloric acid nitric acid sulfuric acid etc and so the factory waste the waste water the sewage coming out from factories contain lot of acids and if they sewage or waste water from factories mix with water bodies like rivers lakes 
ponds, etc. The water in them get polluted, and it, the acids present in this waste water may kill aquatic organisms, fish, and other aquatic organisms. So, before disposing waste water from factories, it should be treated with lime, either slaked lime or quicklime, in order to neutralize excess acid present in the sewage, means waste water coming from factories. Another important thing that every day your parents tell you to brush your teeth twice a day, means after food morning and evening or night before going to bed. Why they say so? You know, food particles stick to the teeth and they may be deposited. The gaps or cavities of the teeth. And because of the action of bacteria, acid is producing. And this acid can damage our teeth. Especially the teeth enamel is damaged by the acid produced by the action of bacteria. So parents advise you to brush properly in the morning and at night. And most of the toothpaste contain bases. Mouthwashes also contain mild bases in order to neutralize the acid present in our mouth and protect our teeth. And you know, most of the soft drinks contain phosphoric acid. To enhance their taste, they add phosphoric acid. And this is very harmful for our teeth. It may damage our teeth. So if you use soft drinks, then wash your mouth properly and thoroughly. My dear students, now we have discussed some applications of neutralization reaction in our daily life. You kindly read that portion well and with this our chapter is over. Now please read the chapter many times and study it and do all the activities that I have given to you. Thank you.